125% mortgages are back. Can they be serious? Adam is here again. Adam? Uh, many thanks, Sarah. Britain's biggest building society, the Nationwide, has begun offering 125% loan-to-value mortgages to borrowers actually suffering from negative equity. It says its new deal only applies to existing customers who want to move house but are trapped by negative equity. But is this really a good idea at a time when property prices are still falling and the Financial Services Authority is looking at capping deals offering more than a property's value? Uh, joining us in the studio is Jonathan Davis, who's a chartered financial planner at Armstrong Davis. Good morning. Morning, Adam. Uh, we are perhaps emerging from a time when we just got ourselves into a terrible mess over lending too much to people who couldn't afford to pay it back. Does it strike you as odd that we now have our biggest building society seeming to just recreate the troubles of the past? Well, I recall a conversation with the chief economist of the Nationwide um, who was very proud of her prudent lending um, well, clearly uh, this isn't necessarily the case now. I'm, I'm not convinced that we're emerging from problems. Uh, I, I see the problems still absolutely continuing with high unemployment, high government debt, high household debt, commercial property in the doldrums, um, and interest rates are going to be rising inexorably. So why um, I think that- this is a joke product. You think it's a joke product? I think uh, you're, you're taking people in negative equity, pushing more money down their throat um, off to back an asset which is still going down in value. Of course, it's not in their interest to lend money to people who don't pay it back. So why on earth do you think they'd be doing it? Well, I think it is in their interest. Have you seen the interest rates? They're charging about 7% for this when uh, standard fixed rates are around 5 or 6%. But they obviously feel that they're going to get the money back. You, you think they may be um, ill-founded, those views? Well, all the banks and building societies thought they were going to get the money back when they lent the gargantuan sums in the run-up to 2007. They were clearly wrong then, and they're wrong again. The FSA, the regulator, is looking at the mortgage market, trying to work out whether it should do more to regulate it. What's your view? Um, I think um, regulating the mortgage market is is not the thing they should be looking at. Uh, what they are doing, as Alice Dowling said yesterday, they're looking at regulating the bankers. And if they regulate the bankers, the bankers themselves will regulate the mortgage market. Jonathan Davis from Armstrong Davis, many thanks.